Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Once again, back here on the old multiplayer server. We're January 2 now. This is post farm tour uh, video recording. Um, I think we were in December 4 in that video, so we've advanced a little bit, but yeah, we're just trying to get these pig barns emptied out. <clears throat> Weird little effect that goes on on this field. I think it's just this field so far. Well, I guess I've only spread slurry on this field so far. Um, but it just, like, isn't continually showing the, sp like, spreading effect. It's just driving me nuts. Driving me bonkers. Me absolutely bonkers. We have the just like automatic uh, application rate going on with precision farming, so that could be like kind of it. It's just like not recognizing that it needs it every now and then. I don't know, it's weird, but yeah, we're getting this field spread. Let's see, show some info here. So we're getting a little bit of uh, nitrogen spread here. We need to spray for weeds in the sweet field, and we need to top dress it with the sprayer with fertilizer. We need to do that actually with all of our wheat. Um, I'm planning on doing that going into February of next year. Oh, I got some, you know, good little lag there. GPS is your best friend on a multiplayer server when you have absolute dog internet like me. And now my baby just woke up. So, next time I'll be back is probably like eight hours from to now recording, but it'll be in like two seconds for you guys, so. So we're back <clears throat> a little bit later on now. Um, not too much longer into the day on in-game, but um, yeah, we're actually here spreading slurry on our new ground that we picked up during the winter auction. So right across the street I didn't actually plan on buying any more ground this year but it was too tempting I gave into peer pressure Pleasant View Farms was bidding on it giving me crap for not bidding on it with it being right across the street yep bid us quite a bit though so the base game value is 370,000 we paid 400,000 for it so we're now sitting at 129, 129,000. Not terrible, but it kind of takes away from some of the plans that I had. Um, we did sell our corn that was in Tyler's bins, Pleasant View's bins, those north bins there, across from our big field. Um, So we had to get enough money in the bank to buy this land, so really had plans to buy a tractor, another tractor, really had plans to put up some new bins, but man, it was uh, the land, the land will get you, it was too tempting, so we bought more land, but I have but I have ideas for that. It has like a little spot there where it seems like there should be some sort of building or something, but so I'm thinking thinking we can do something over there. We can either put bins over there, another set of bins, or another hog barn. Get some more hogs going. We don't technically need more, but I'm thinking like it'd be kinda nice to do like a little I don't know, breeding barn or something over there and leave these for like just fattening pigs. You know what I mean? Oh, can we find... I did not mean to jump out. Can we find the fill trigger for the slurry pit here? It's like right here next to the second fan. Can we find it? There it is. There it is. Let's 
check on the piggies over here. See what they're up to inside. Look at them. Oh, we had piglets. Look at. Check it out, guys. So we did sell off 300 of the female porkers. Um, they are at four months right now. I'm kind of see, trying to see if these porkers. I need to get these porkers over into this this uh, other barn. That's kind of our fattening barn, quote unquote. Um, I want to see how much these guys jump up in value if I hold on to them for a little bit longer. I think I calculated like at 145. Let's do it right now, live on video. $145 times 505. So it's $73,000 for those 505 male piggies. Um, we're going to keep these ones and we're going to turn them into sows. So then we have. 400 sows that are going to start producing babies every two months. So we're really going to start getting busy with those. Um, but this set of sows, our oldest set, I believe they're our oldest set, yeah. Our oldest set of sows had another 1,004, it looks like, piglets. So we got 200, or 502 males, 502 females. I think we're going to just sell all of these off. I don't think we're going to keep any of these piglets. Um, we'll sell them all off when it's... Uh, when we're four months or whatever. But I want to see if we gain any money or if we lose money by make it by going one more month in these sows... or those uh, porkers turn into boars. I'm very curious because I I believe that our first set that we bought in we let them go to boars and we lost money so honestly maybe I'll just sell like um, maybe I'll just sell like or keep like 50 and just run the experiment that way just in case we don't make our money back that would be kind of a big bummer, right? Um, or we lose money. I don't, I can't, I can't imagine that we would be losing money by letting them go into boars, but I don't know. I mean, that one boar that we have is worth like, f what, 470 or something like that. So, I don't know. We'll see. 75 grand is a uh, Nice little injection of cash, though, huh? For the operation, I feel like. Also, apologies for the audio at the beginning. I just recorded a video on a different game that I'm thinking that I'm going to be posting on the channel. And while I was editing it, the audio is, like, very reverby. But I tried something new with OBS. I hate audio. It drives me nuts. And if I use your gooseneck my seat on it. Go for it, brother man. Doll's just on getting his uh his uh Cows topped up. He sounds like he's going on a little fishing trip here in the next few days. So he's on making sure his cows are going to be fed over the next few days. Dedication. We love to see it. Holstein, at a boy, at a boy. Probably after we get this field done, we will uh, probably advance to the next day. I don't think anybody's really waiting on anything, so. Probably get some more daylight. Might work on spraying a little bit. Like I mentioned before, we need to spray our wheat. Get some fertilizer sprayed on the wheat and even some 
Just a little chemical sprayed on them so we can kill off some weeds. Where is my GPS? There we are. There we are. So, yeah, that's kind of the plan. Kind of the plan. And then. I don't know what we need or what we want to do for feed. Foods are there. The pigs are topped up, and we also have four hundred thousand liters of pig food. So I'm trying to figure out how much corn we want to sell for profit, how much corn we want to keep in the bins for pig food, especially if we start really growing the op a little bit. You know what I mean? It's tough. It's tough decisions. It really is. Because we definitely need the money. Because I still would like to make the purchases that I want to make, even though we also bought this land. But you know, sometimes it's not reality. Choices were made. So, I'll probably get this uh, rest of this sucker done off camera. We also need to spray or spread on this field, and then I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this part. Are we gonna make it into an arable field? I mean, probably, because <laughs> we don't have any use for grass, so we gotta get that up to par with the nitrogen and things. BH isn't terrible. Some of these fields really do need spread with the lime. This one does, this one definitely does. I would do this one too. I think this one's fine for next year. I mean, look at Holstein. Look at these guys. They got lime going on their farms. I'm slacking. Anyway, I don't want to keep recording in the dark, so I'll catch you guys in the next day when it's bright and sunny out for make for a better recording. So we're here now in January 3, <coughs> next day, and uh, some time has passed. The lads must have been on last night playing a bit, so we got some chemical to spray on this wheat ground here. We have course play running uh, slurry right now in this big field, so... Hopefully we're, we'll be able to continue to get that uh, those pig pens emptied out because it's uh, we got a lot we got a lot of a lot of poo to empty so 190 thousand liters still I feel like we didn't even make a dent in it from yesterday I honestly think that's what we started with yesterday so yeah that's. Uh, Interesting, to say the least. We gotta sell some of our uh, some of our dude pigs off. Gotta get those guys sold. We're gonna keep. We're gonna hold on to fifty. See what the uh, see what the uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, if they increase in value, looks like we missed a few spots here in this field. Very interesting. Very interesting. Man, I really like this sprayer. I actually saw one of these the other day in real life. We were just like taking a back road to into uh, Grand Rapids, if you're familiar, if you're from Michigan. Kind of taking a back way. Um, and yeah, we saw one of these sprayers. I don't think I've ever seen a Miller Sprayer IRL. My brother sent me a picture of one the other day. He lives in Wisconsin, so he saw one over in Wisconsin the other day. Pretty cool. I like him. If we ha if only we had a Haggy though. I mean, I know somebody just released like a edited or a converted version of a Haggy, but man, that thing. Is like an FS15 model, and I feel like it's never been updated. 
So it's kind of cringy to even use, but... Yeah. Mahagi would be sweet to have in this game. I have them all over the place next to me, or where I live. Like, literally, I feel like every farmer that runs a sprayer has a haggy. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I like spraying, though. It's kind of fun. It's one of those things that you just are always doing, I feel like. Like, if you're farming, if you're, like, an IRL farmer... It just feels like, like, all throughout the summer, there's always sprayers driving up and down the f uh, roads. Let's set our GPS line here. Should be good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, like, perfect, actually. This thing's sweet. This thing is very cool. Lower it down a little bit. Get it right down there. Make sure we're not wasting any, you know? Man, Course Blade did not do a great job tilling up this field or even. Uh, Planting it. Miss some spots. I've I've uh, noticed that you gotta do like if you're not if you want to try and really not or reduce the headland, like those misses there on the turns on the headlands. You gotta almost do like a 16, 17 percent overlap, which is pretty wild. When you're setting up your course play, at least. What it mean? What I mean? Looks like the slurry tank is empty, so we need to grab him. We need to set it up on an auto drive route where he just comes and fills himself up. Also, unfortunately, if you guys are following the Hoff Bergman series, I have not been able to resolve the animal issue at all. Even by selling the animals... Wow, that was really low. Even by selling the animals and rebuying new animals, it just broke. It's just broken. Which I'm really kind of bummed about. Because for me, that kind of ruins that series, I'm not going to lie to you. I might continue it and just, like... Um... We're going to set a new GPS line quick. Might continue it and just go up to the point where we can make some beer and then end it. I don't know. Well, very disappointing, but it's my fault. I think it's definitely due to having enhanced animal in my mods for a while, which I didn't even realize. Um, yeah. So that's on me. No fault of anybody else besides myself. Which is too bad, but... Tis what it is, I guess. Let's see, where's our line at now? Dangerous back in a sprayer up like that. We're missing a little bit there, which I think I might just be okay with, to be honest with you. Man, my button on my joystick to turn the 
um, implement on and off is not right, like working. Or if it got reset for some reason. These are the jobs though. These are the jobs that we do over the winter time or yeah I guess it's still winter January. Not really anything too crazy, not as exciting as like harvesting or anything, but you know hey. They're jobs that need to be done in order to have an exciting harvest. We really got to get some lime spread too. I think that's probably the biggest, the next job that's going to be the biggest thing. Probably could have held off on spraying. <clears throat> and started doing lime instead, but we just have this field that we need to spray chemical on for killing weeds. And then we have a few fields that we do need to spread some fertilizer on the wheat fields and then yeah liming liming's a big one we gotta get lime down before February to where yeah February cause then we can start well I guess we have February and March that we could do tillage cause that's the biggest thing Gotta get lime down before we start doing tillage. In last year, planting season, we didn't start doing lime early enough. And then we were like very rushed to where we didn't even lime all the fields that I wanted to, and now they're just in real bad shape. And obviously that affects our yields too. So. But liming can be expensive, that's for sure, and that's the issue with spending 400 grand on a field that you really didn't want to buy. <laughs> but we did it, and now we live with it. My sound just like cut out in my headphones, that was really weird. Very weird. So I hope you guys are doing good. Let me know in the comments what you guys have been up to. Anything fun? Just playing farming simulator, grinding away on your own saves. Getting out and about summertime here in the US. As I know most of you can relate. I think with my analytics on my on the YouTube studio page it says like 96 point something percent of my audience is from the US which kind of explains why all of my content that isn't um, US based farming uh, kind of takes a dip in numbers, but I still got the uh, the tried and true people that watch the channel. They're always, always there, which I do appreciate all of those people. I appreciate anybody that watches the channel, to be honest. Helps me out. Your views help me, so. Pretty much, I mean, really, we've stayed... <laughs> I don't think I've had more than five negative comments on my videos through the whole time of uh, making YouTube videos. So, like, that's awesome. I hear all the time that, like, of creators, even FS creators, just ranting about how there's such a negative, like having such negative comments and stuff, which 
I'm a very laid back person. I'm sure you guys have kind of figured that out by now. Where a negative comment is literally in one ear out the other. <laughs> like, I could care less. So, and maybe that's just how, I mean, maybe that's why people don't really leave anything negative. I don't know. I don't, I don't really feel like there's anything negative to say about my content, but maybe the fact that your audio sucks sometimes and that kind of stuff, but you know, yeah. So it's kind of nice. I appreciate that. I'm all about it. I'm all about the positive vibes. It's the way I like to live life. You know, why go through life sulking and being upset, you know? Obviously, there's people in situations where it's not great and it's not fair and... But... If you can try and find the positive out of everything, it's... That's the way to live life, you know? That's the way to go about things and... You'll be a much happier person in the end. But anyway. Don't know how we even got on that topic. Just kind of chatting while going, while uh, doing our spraying, you know. Letting the, letting the words flow, you know. This thing takes forever to fold up. realistic I guess always chalk up slow stuff to realism because it definitely takes a while to fold up a sprayer if you've never actually seen a sprayer fold and unfold it takes a minute we're just going to cut out right here onto the road And then we'll go empty this sprayer. So we'll empty the the herbicide that's in here back into the tank. And then we gotta f grab the, uh, the spreader, the slurry spreader, and uh, get that filled back up. Maybe we'll set up a little auto drive course. Probably do that off camera. This feels need, needs to be sprayed, but we'll probably I think we'll probably chisel plow that. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think it needs chisel plowed, so maybe not, but there's nothing growing in there. So there's not really any reason to spray on it right now. We'll pull around this way. I think I can empty this into the tanks. I'm pretty sure. Ah, sure. Ah, sure. Ah, sure. I swear I thought I could do that. Whatever. It's fine. We'll just put it into the hoop barn and then we'll use it when we need it. Um, I'm going to go grab the slurry spreader and get that filled up, set up an auto drive course, all that stuff, and I'll see you guys in a few seconds here. We're probably going to be doing a different job. It might be a different day. You know how it goes.
so this is how we're going to wrap up this episode guys thank you so much for watching um, I hope you enjoyed obviously uh, the days have gone by here since the last uh, job but uh, yeah I've been busy so I haven't really been able to get on much but uh, we are in February now we are getting slurry spread still working on that um, we're still working on getting lime spread and we are need to start getting uh, some tillage into the field and start fitting fields so it's gonna be a busy month uh, I'll probably try and hop on a little bit more but um, wanted to get an episode out to you guys this week so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video